Hmm, what's up, Scorpio? What's your weekly reading? Um, I'm here, up here, instead of in my studio, because, um, I don't know, I got a lot of shit going on. So anyway, <clears throat> if you're new here, my name's Tori, Tori Franco. I do these readings uh, weekly, Tuesday to Friday. Y'all are uploaded on Wednesday. Every Wednesday, 12 p.m., all the water signs are uploaded. Um, Mondays, I upload my... I know exactly what fucking card that was. Still, I saw it. Fucking saw it. <laughs> We're keeping it. You know why? Because with all the fucking water signs and this full moon that just happened the other night, like we're feel really feeling the fucking energy and intuition. That card's about intuition. The funny thing is this card has come out for all the water signs, but Scorpios are the first sign where this card is not in reverse, which tells me y'all are probably in a better position than the other water signs, like as far as intuitively. <clears throat> but anyway, if you want to support the channel, it's all linked in the description below. If you want to get a personal reading, all linked in the description below. Whew. Okay. The star. Um, buy me a coffee. There's going to be a card at some point during this video where it'll say, buy me a coffee. It's just a one-time donation. If you want to uh, tip me for these videos, if not, just like, share, comment, all that greatly appreciated. Tell your mama, tell your cousin, tell your sister. Okay. Two of wands. Ooh, oh, all right. Seven of pentacles. All right. I'm going to have to lay down after this. Um, you, these two cards are about picking a path, right? I don't know if it's focused. There it is. It's about picking a path. This is like about having two options in front of you and knowing exactly which option you want to go forth with. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I feel like what's guiding you is your intuition. And whatever the path it is that you're choosing to take is the one that's going to give you the most um, long-term return on your investment whatever it is <clears throat> it's going to be something that's going to be stable that could be a job that could be a person that could be move planning to move somewhere like whatever it is like i want to say it's the right choice oh no bro I don't know about you, bitch. I hope the fuck you do. <laughs> and it's the queen of wands. That's again about knowing what you want, what you're passionate about. Um, queen of wands is a sexy, spicy bitch. That's what the queen of wands, wands is. And it's almost like, especially with this seven of pentacles and this card right here, it's like almost like you... <sighs> are taking your time with the choice to assess your options, right? But don't be a brat in the process, especially if you know what you want. There's no need for you to be a fucking brat. Okay, the 10 of swords is like definitely taking your time to like work through certain um, triggers really this is the first reading that i've done out of all three readings that's like giving me straight up anxiety like i'm feeling it <clears throat> like like heavy whatever this is whatever this is is fucking heavy but it's like something that needs to be 
worked through. This can sometimes be a card of like ignoring, you know, like there it is. There's the offer right in front of this person's face. They're not choosing to take it though. Even though you may know what the fuck you want, who you are, you stand in your own power, you're independent, you're fucking in your like element type of thing. There's a lot of like, I'm taking my time. And it's okay to take your time. It's not okay to like drag your fucking feet. You know what I'm saying? So there's that. This is stability. This is celebrations. It's happy times. This is like finding the balance in the situation. You know what I mean? But really just the stability. Again, like I said, like there's some sort of long-term stability here in whatever the fuck, not me switching the cards, in whatever the fuck it is you're dealing with, right? Like it's something that will benefit you in the long run. It's like an investment you want to make. But <clears throat> there's a lot of things you're needing to work out first and foremost. There y'all are, Queen of Cups. Intuitive, again, like being in touch with your intuition. Um, that's also a card of like being in touch with your emotions, being very nurturing to other people, but also like nurturing yourself as well, you know, like damn, the emperor, there could be like an opportunity or a job or an, an, some sort of situation that you're taking the reins on. Right. What I'm seeing right here is you completely distracting yourself from whatever this 10, ten of swords is, period. The nine of, the nine of, um, the nine of cups in reverse is about overindulgences and it's about like you really not trusting your, not that you don't trust your emotions, but it's like you not trusting that you'll be okay. I don't know why I want to say that. It's just overindulging, like investing your time and energy into things that aren't going to benefit you in the long run because you're trying to distract yourself from maybe like things that will. You know? That makes sense. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Could be a little bit of like a misfire. Really needing to bring things back into balance. Um, is that balance again, Scorpio, between your practicality and your emotions, your practicality, your analytical brain and your emotional brain. It's really you needing to, um, not, I don't want to say tap into your intuition because I feel like y'all are tapped, but like emotions. Scorpios are naturally like water signs. Like I said, we are naturally um, emotional and intuitive beings. So there's no lack of intuition there. What it, what it is, is sometimes we tend to suppress emotions and there are possibly emotions that you're suppressing that you're really needing to not. Queen of swords. Again, that's about independence. I don't know if y'all like, uh, there it is, the Empress in reverse. I don't know if you guys are like out here not trusting your abilities on your own or something like that. Maybe there's some sort of codependency that you're needing to work out. But this is you drawing the lines in the sand with people, creating boundaries, being independent, speaking your truth, saying what you need to say. It all goes back to that moon. Maybe it's just, maybe this moon is out because it's like, that's what the full moon is bringing up. <clears throat> it's bringing up maybe suppressed emotions that need to be worked out. I don't fucking know.
Hope, love, and acceptance. Love is yours. Recognize your divine worth and choose loving thoughts. Okay. Mother Mary, love and peace. Another thing about love. Like I said, there might be like suppressed emotions or something like that, that you're not trying to like touch on. Let go of the need to be right. Choose peace. Mother healing is possible at this time. I don't know what the fuck that means. So, and at the bottom, Horus, cosmic gateway. Your thoughts are magnetic and powerful. Miraculous changes are occurring. All right, cool. <laughs> That's what I got for y'all. Um, I love you guys very much. I gotta go lay down. I just got this booster shot. I'm feeling a little wacky right now. Anyway, I love y'all. Peace out. <laughs>